Jacob Tobias, a name that sounds like it was designed to piss me off. Many of you might know this guy as the one gender fluid jackass that appears on so many pro LGBT websites and videos. This so called activist is just stupid. There are just so many things that he says that are just wrong. What's worse is that NBC News has made a series of videos with Jacob Tobias called Queer 2.0, where Jacob talks about heteronormativity, being gender fluid, kissing one's genders, and all sorts of videos that make Candy Kills 10's videos sound more logical by comparison. In today's video, I'll be tackling one of the videos about heteronormativity. Oh, and by the way, NBC News has disabled their comments. Jeez, it's almost as if they know what they're spreading is bullshit. Take it away, Jacob! Assumptions can cause a lot of problems. It all depends on what you're assuming about. If you assume that it'll only take an hour to get through airport security, you'll probably miss your flight. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah! If you assume that all of your friends are good at singing, you'll have a pretty painful karaoke night. Why would you make big assumptions about, well, anything? Well, we make assumptions that are based on facts. For example, if you see dark clouds, would it not be safe to assume it's going to rain? It might not, but it doesn't change the fact that there is a chance that it might rain. The rules apply for almost anything. You smell something burning, the very first thing that comes to your mind is that your food is burning or something's on fire. That's why we make assumptions. It's part of human nature. I think even you understand this, Jacob. Which brings us to a concept that is all about assumptions. Heteronormativity. Heteronormativity is the belief that everyone around you is heterosexual. If you view the world in a heteronormative way, then you're falsely assuming that everyone is straight. Considering that the chances of meeting someone straight is 10 to 1, can you really blame people for that? Sure, you might encounter one or two gay people on the way, but that doesn't negate the fact that the mass majority of people are straight. That nice girl you met at the party last week, straight. The sweet old lady on the bus, straight. Your new colleague that started last week, probably also straight. Every stranger that you've ever walked past in the grocery store, straight, 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 straight. But why would you assume that everyone you meet is straight? Because it's so common. It's like saying, why would you assume that every bear in the wood would attack you? Not all bears are hostile to humans, therefore we should not make assumptions. It's common, Jacob. The word common is the key word. Queer people are everywhere. We're your colleagues, your friends, your religious leaders, your elders, and your cashiers. But it's not common, Jacob. Just because someone around you could be gay doesn't mean that it's common. I have a few friends that are completely gay, but I have more friends who are straight. The group I am in is mostly straight as well. That is the key word, Jacob. We are a fundamental part of the world, so the next time you meet a guy that you think is cute, don't ask him if he has a girlfriend, just ask him if he's seeing anyone. How about no? And the next time you meet a woman wearing a wedding ring, don't ask her what her husband's name is, ask her what her spouse's name is. Again, no. After all, you know what they say, when you assume someone's sexuality, you make an ass out of you and, well, really, yourself. I never heard that saying. I think you just made it up just to sound cool, Jacob. And the only person who is a complete ass is you, Jacob. And you know what, Jacob? You and that donkey look exactly the same. I think I just found the thumbnail of this video. Now, normally after the end of the video, I would just say, I am the atheist gamer and keep gaming on. But this video is way too short for me to make a video response to. And I know you guys love to see more content of mine. So here's another video where Jacob talks about guessing a baby's gender. And oh, baby, this is a good one. Let's begin. Okay, America, it's time for a riddle. What is understood but never named, always present but never heard, never spoken but 
All right, forget this. I'm talking about the word cisgender. Also known as normal. Don't know what the word cisgender means? That means you probably are cisgender. I think other transgender don't know what that word means. I think you're just making shit up, Jacob. Cis is a prefix that means on the same side of. So if you're cisgender, it means that you identify on the same side of the sex you were assigned at birth. Here's another way to think about it. Gender identity is like a game show and doctors are the contestants. That is a massive no. Doctors don't guess a baby's genders. Doctors point out that a baby's gender and say either it's a boy or it's a girl. And 99% of the time, the baby grows up to be cisgender. When each of us are born, a doctor takes one look at us and makes a guess about what our gender identity will be. Again, doctors do not make guesses. These doctors cannot determine on what you will grow up to be. That is not their fucking job. Hmm, well, I see a penis, so I think that this baby will grow up to be a man. Did I get it right? If you're cisgender, it means that the doctor guessed your gender identity correctly at birth. It is not a fucking guess, Jacob! That you actually like the letter that the doctor put on your birth certificate when you were born. If you're trans though, it probably went more like this. Ah, well, this baby has a vagina, so I'm gonna guess that she will grow up to be a woman. Did I get it? <coughs> Dang it, I knew I should have guessed genderqueer. There is no guessing! Jacob! The thing about cisgender people is that a lot of y'all like to act like you're the normal ones. We are the normal ones, Jacob. We don't have a mental illness. That's not to put trans people down, but it is true. And you, Jacob, you are not trans. But I've got news for you. There's no such thing as a normal gender. Holy fuck is this wrong? I'm bringing that meme back on my channel. It's just so funny. But really, no such thing as normal gender? What exactly are you trying to say? That being cisgender is a bizarre as being gender fluid? Or is that nothing really is normal? What really count as normal? Jacob! Cis people just got lucky. The doctor guessed your gender correctly when you were a baby, so you grew up in a world that treated you as you wanted to be treated. Oh yeah, doctors just gotten lucky nearly all the time. Jacob, are you allergic to numbers? Are you ignoring the facts that the mass majority of people are cisgender and the odds of meeting someone who is transgender is very low? Even lower than me, a gay person? It is 100% possible to live your entire life without meeting a single trans person! You, of all people, should know this! But that doesn't change the fact that, at the end of the day, a large part of the difference between cis people and trans people comes down to a guess that a doctor made when we were babies. No, the difference is that one has a mental disorder and the other does not. It is once again not a doctor's job to predict the outcome! Isn't that right, Doc? Pretty much, but wouldn't it be easier if doctors like me didn't try to guess the gender of a child in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to live in a world where children are allowed the opportunity to grow into their gender identity in an organic, affirming way? Well, Jacob, a child has no concept of gender identity. If you decide to raise your child without giving your child the gender identity they were born with, you are just abusing the child into fooling them into thinking your SJW ways. You're not giving a child freedom to grow if you push them into your ideological bullshit. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. I wonder why we're so attached to assigning a gender at birth in the first place. Interesting. Jacob, I said this too many times to even care at this point. You are a moron. NBC News is a complete dumpster fire. Now that I've made this video a little longer, I can send my message to Jacob. I really do hope Jacob watches my video because it needs to be seen.
someone needs to challenge the bastard because if he's going to end up challenging the gender norms, he needs to know that people like me are going to say no. You should not go unopposed, Jacob. Unlike you, I can provide facts. Unlike you, I don't need a media outlet to speak out. Unlike you, I am not afraid of opposition. I am the Atheist Gamer, and keep gaming on!